Hi, I'm Simon Harrison, Head Professional at Gog Magog Golf Club in Cambridge. Today I want to show you about ball position and how you maintain your spine even when your ball position changes. So the first thing is if I'm using, using a T-bar here, we show you where a six iron ball position should be, which is somewhere around about three inches inside your left heel. So if I set up normally to that, you can see three to four inches inside my left heel. When I set up to it, you should have what's known as spinal tilt. So when I set up to it, there is an angle where my left shoulder is higher than my right shoulder, and I'm very slightly tilted away from the ball with my top half. Now, there's a setup for a six iron. If I now move to a driver, the ball position, as you all know, needs to be on the left heel. So when I set up for a driver, what I don't want to do is move the ball position across. So I don't want to move the ball position across so it's now on the left heel and then try and replicate the feeling I had before relative to the ball by going to the ball. What I need to do is set up how I would for a six iron with my spinal tilt and move the ball position forward. So you can see now I am further behind that ball than I was with the six iron. Don't be tempted to go to the ball because it's further forward. As soon as you go to the ball, you lose the spinal tilt so the shoulders become level. That then means it becomes much more of an up and down action with the arms rather than a rotation and a sweeping action. So when you move the ball position, stay in the same place you were for the six iron, just move the ball forward, and in effect, you're further behind the ball than you were with the six.